I recently set an Apple TV in my garden house, and I'm using an old computer monitor here that doesn't have speakers, so I figured I'd just use my JBL Bluetooth speaker for sound. First, you'll want to power on the speaker and put it in pairing mode. This is different on each speaker, but usually it'll have something like a Bluetooth button on it that activates the pairing mode. Normally, you'd change audio output on Apple TV by simply holding down the home button, but the Bluetooth speaker doesn't show up here just yet. So, we're going to go to Settings, Remotes and Devices, and under Bluetooth, connect to the speaker. The nice thing is that after doing this once, my Apple TV now connects automatically every time as long as my Bluetooth speaker is powered on. It might take a second for your speaker to show up, but as long as it's reachable and currently set in pairing mode, it should show up here. The speaker connection works better than I thought, so I highly recommend this to anyone who either doesn't have built-in speakers or wants to upgrade their sound quality with an existing Bluetooth speaker. Depending on the speaker you use, you might notice a slight delay in sound, causing the video and audio to be off-sync. If this happens, there's an easy fix, assuming you own an iPhone. Go to Settings, Video and Audio, and scroll down to Wireless Audio Sync. This tool is pretty cool. It'll utilize your iPhone's microphone to distinguish the amount of audio delay and then adjust it accordingly. Simply bring your iPhone close, tap the notification that shows up on your screen, and your Apple TV will calibrate the audio. I did this once and my audio has been perfect ever since. So that's how you use a Bluetooth speaker with an Apple TV. Not very hard, and it's a nice way to put an old speaker to use without having to spend money on a soundbar. Let me know in the comments if this helped you, and I hope to see you all in the next tutorial.